na ni siku yao ya kwanza ambao wanaweza kusherekea sherehe hii ya kifamilia pamoja na tukiangalia mada siku ya leo ni kuhusu small christian community basic unit of the church na swali ni je bona kanisa lina enzi jumuiya ndogo ndogo kwenye kanisa na umuhimu ama ni jukumu lao kwenye kanisa ni lipi tunatarajia ama tunaungana naye hapa ambaye anajitambulisha karibu sana naomba tuanze na jina lako Linda Ohanya kutoka parokia ya Holy Trinity Kileleshwa mimi ni member wa CWA na juma yangu ni our lady of Fatima small christian community yes na labda tukiangalia siku ya leo mada kuu ni kuhusu jumuiya ndogo ndogo hako inaashiria nini uh, the aim of this family day is you know small christian communities are the basic unit of the church kanisa inatengenezwa na SCCs so mwaka huu our uh, deeds waliamua to celebrate small christian communities na pia ni the 50th anniversary since the inception of small christian communities by the amesea so this is the ideal time this year to celebrate small christian communities which is the foundation of the catholic church yes tuangalie kwenye maisha ya familia siku kama hii ina umuhimu gani ina umuhimu kabisa because you know we are one church a catholic church we are one family so in the spirit of synodality we need to work together so kama familia yetu yangu ya holy trinity inafaa tutembee na parokia zote katika central na kabeta dinaries because through our baptism we are all connected sisi ni kama familia ndio maana tuna celebrate family day from watoto wadogo to youth to young adults to adults and even to the old you want to come together to celebrate as a family that's working together in synodality as a catholic church labda kuna wengine hawana uwezo wa kuweza kufika kwenye sherehe kama hii na labda kuna mambo mengi wangependa kujifunza ushauri wako kwa wale hawawezi kufika ama wajafika kwenye sherehe ni Uh, although tunahimiwa wote tufike kwa, uh, kwa sherehe hii ambao hawajafika ndio maana tume make efforts kama ku transmit kwa Capuchin TV na Radio Maria ili wawe tuge, even though wa wako hapa physically we are together in spirit yes sir. happy family day thank you very much thank you Me moja wa chama cha wanawake wa Katoliki kwenye dekania hii ya kati na pia dekania ya Kabete siku hii ya leo ambapo wanasherekea siku ya kifamilia na kumbuka tulivyosema hapo awali kanisa Katoliki linaipa siku ya kifamilia kipaumbele lakini tunaungana naye hapa ni moja wa chama cha wanaume wa Katoliki kwenye dekania hii anajitambulisha na natuelezea Bona hasa kanisa linaenzi jumuiya ndogo ndogo na jukumu lao kwenye kanisa ni lipi habari yako Nashukuru sana kwa majina naitwa Bana Dowo ndiye moderator wa dikania ya kati Central Dinari lakini kwa leo hii tumekusanyika kama dikania ya Kabete na Kati zamani ilikuwa moja lakini kwa sasa ni dikania mbili tofauti Tunaangazia sana siku ya leo jumuiya ndogo ndogo. Labda bona hasa umechagua mada huu. Manake baada ya nyakati ya Covid Small Christian Community jumuiya ndogo ndogo ndio nguzo ya chini kabisa ambayo kanisa naanzia. Jumuiya ndogo ndogo inaashiria kwamba zikuwe familia kama saba ambazo zikikusanyika wanaweza kuwa kanisa ndogo tuangalie utaratibu ni ipi wapo kanisa linaunda jumuiya ndogo ndogo ama kuanzishwa e, jumuiya ndogo ndogo ni familia kwanza tunasema kabisa familia ndio the smallest component of the church sasa tukitoka katika familia hizo ni familia ambazo zinaishi karibu sasa wakishirikiana wanaweza kukuza imani wakiwa pamoja So kanisa inatumainia kwamba wanaweza kusaidiana katika imani mambo ya ubatizo sakramenti zote wakishirikiana kanisa basi itaweza kuendelea. Yes. Kumu la jumuiya ndogo ndogo ni lipi kwenye kanisa? The small Christian community is basically the support of the church all the operations and activities of the church come from the church works through the small christian community because as a church it cannot operate on its own so the small christian community are small groups that come together to form the church a community of believers in smaller groups
Yes, thank you. Grand Happy Family Day. Nashukuru sana na watakatifu. Na tulivyoarifiwa kwamba ni siku ya kifamilia na kwenye uh, maujano yetu na yeye kwamba ametaja jukumu lao kuu ama jumuiya ndogo ndogo ni kama uh, familia tofauti tofauti waja pamoja ni hapo ndipo uh, iwapo mmoja angependa kupokea sakramenti wanaweza kupata na kumbuka kiongozi wa ibada ameshawasili askofu mkuu wa Jimbo kuu la Nairobi ambaye ni askofu mkuu Philip Nyolo basi kwa sasa tuandamane kwenye misa takatifu na jina langu ni Arbe Bonaire We thank God for the gift of St. Rodinary, which is giving rise again this year to Kabeta Dinary. Now, at this time, before His Grace leads us in this Holy Eucharist, I welcome Father Edwin Hunja, the Dean for Kabeta Dinary, to welcome His Grace and all of us for this celebration. <laughs> God is good all the time. All the time. God is good and has been made our love. We can take our seats. Uh, Philip Agnolo, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Nairobi. My dear brother priests, religious men and women, our dear Christians, Tumsifu Yesu Christu. Yeah. On behalf of the Father Dean Centro Dinari and the Father Dean Kabete Dinari, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ as we gather for our joint family day. We are very happy to welcome His Grace Philip Pagnolo, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Nairobi, to grace our occasion. We welcome all the priests, the religious men and women, our faithful, Taifa la Mungu, Tumsifu Yesu Christu. Yeah. We have gathered here as a family to be together, to pray together, to celebrate together, and to eat together with one another and with our God. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am with them. 
We also know that a family that prays together stays together. The theme of our family day this year is the small Christian community, the basic unit of the church. This year marks the 50th anniversary since the inauguration of small Christian communities as a pastoral priority in a Messiah region in 1973. We joined the church in celebration as we are grateful for the small Christian communities. Through them, the church in a Messiah region has grown strong in communion, in participation, and in mission. The early Christian communities under the apostles remained faithful to the teachings of the apostles, to the brotherhood, sharing and support, to the breaking of the bread, and to the prayers, as we find it in Acts chapter 2. This is the basis of any small Christian community in the church. Therefore, let us pray for our small Christian communities as we celebrate them this year to be renewed and to be strengthened. Your grace below is the list of the small Christian communities in our parishes. In Central Deanery, Shrine of Mary, Help of Christians, Upper Hill Parish, 24. Our Lady Queen of Peace, South B, 41. St. Francis Xavier Parklands, 15. St. Peter Clevers, 31. St. Paul's University Chapel, 14. Holy Family Basilica, 19. As St. Catherine of Alexandria, South Sea, 17. We have a police camp, John Bosco Uhuru National Police Camp. They have four Jumuiyas. In Kabete Dinari, we have the following St. Joseph Kagemi, 31. Holy Trinity Kilileshua, 14. Consolata Shrines, Westlands, 34. Our Lady of Holy Rosary Ridgeways, 30. St. Catherine of Siena, 4. St. Austin Msongari, 15. Uh, St. Raphael Kabete, we have 15. Through our small Christian communities, our parishes have grown spiritually through the community masses, the retreats and recollections, support and presence, and especially in difficult times like mourning, the encouragement of members to enter the sacramental life, the visits to the sick, to the children's homes, to old people's homes, and to the prisons. The physical structures of our parishes have improved through financial support from our small Christian communities, and especially during fundraising. The small Christian community is the organized structure that we commit as a deliver, thank to our small Christian communities. We look forward to the growth of our church by creating many more small Christian communities in our deaneries. Our deaneries are located within the center of Nairobi City. Consequently, the challenges of individualism and consumerism are very real here. These realities have brought loneliness among us, especially among our young people. We have a solution. It is a small Christian communities. We congratulate all Christians who have embraced the spirit of small Christian communities. They have promoted harmony, communion, participation, and mission within and beyond our dinners. We challenge the Christian who find it difficult to join the small Christian community to face their fears, to follow the spirit of our Christian community of the apostles. No one can live 
radical individualism. No man is an island. We are all social human beings. Let us come together in small Christian communities and foster the peace and the care of one another. The small Christian communities embody some fundamental features of the ecclesiology of Vatican II, which encourages the dimension of community, communion, and participation. Thus, the small Christian communities are a significant way of being church today and serve as a vehicle of parish spiritual renewal. The small Christian community model of the church is a way to build up the parish community from within. Let us pray today that the small Christian community of the apostles and our patron saint, Philip Neri, may continue to inspire the growth and the sustenance of small Christian communities, but they may remain strong in the spirit of communion, participation, and mission. Amen. Amen. And I now take this opportunity to welcome His Grace, Philip Pagnolo, to lead us in this Eucharistic celebration. Your Grace. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And peace be to you all. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, in these both dinaries, who are gathered here, we celebrate the purpose and the meaning of our faith, communion, which is an expression amongst us as Christian communities, small Christian communities, we have been told, and for sure, that is what it is, that this is the solution for our daily and common challenges in relationship with one another and God. But now, let us also ask that God will give us the graces to persevere and perpetuate the solution that we have. I confess to Almighty God. And to my brothers and sisters, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask blessed me of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
glory, glory, glory to God, heavenly King, Lord, mighty God, the Father, the Lord, Lord. glory, glory. pray. O God, who never cease to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which the wonderfully, he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip of Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Oh, 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 oh,
who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Agrippa the king and Bernice arrived at Caesarea to welcome Festus. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There is a man left prisoner by Felix, and when, okay. Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There is a man left prisoner by Felix, and when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews gave information about him, asking for sentence against him. I answered them, that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up anyone before the accused met the accusers face to face and had opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. When therefore they came together here, I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man brought in. When the accusers stood up, they brought no charge in his case of such evils as I supposed, but they had certain points of dispute with him about their own superstition about one Jesus who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. Being at loss how to investigate these questions, I asked whether he wished to go to Jerusalem and be tried there regarding them. But when Paul had appeals to be kept in custody for the decision of the emperor, I commanded him to be held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Zaburi ya kuitikizana kitikio Bwana amesimika kiti chake mbinguni Bwana amesimika kiti chake mbinguni Bwana amesimika kiti chake mbinguni Bwana amesimika kiti chake mbinguni
When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simeon Peter, Simeon, son of John, do you love me more than this? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to him a second time, Simeon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Ted, my sheep. He said to him at that time, Simeon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him at that time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were young, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and peace be to you all. Good morning, my dear people of God. Uh, good morning, the Central Ordinary. Uh, the good morning, the Central Ordinary, the mother of... The mother of... Eh? The mother of where? Kapete yeah, Kapete Dinari. So the mother has come to visit the daughter. <laughs> and we really appreciate that that has happened as soon as it should. And we want to thank the daughter for the introduction that she gave for this union here. The daughter emphasized small Christian community as a way forward, as a solution. And I know in this dinner here, people crisscross. At one time you are in Gabete, another time you are in Catherine of Siena, another time you are somewhere, much as you are rooted somewhere, know that you are still at home in a bigger dinner. I wanted to appreciate that this dinner has a bigger mission and responsibility together. Because it is in this dinner, even as we celebrate, we have very soon to celebrate even more. Because we're looking at, at us here, we have Father Lauren Njoroge, uh, who comes also to tell us that one of our members here uh, by home, by sleeping and dying, was amongst us. So, that is the His Eminence John, uh, His Eminence uh, Morris Colonel Otunga. That's all. So, we are very lucky to have him, and we shall be told the procedure, the way forward 
even as in small Christian communities, we celebrate and gather how we can appeal to his spirit, the spirit of life, the spirit of the spirit of communality, the spirit of solidarity, the spirit of union with God. It's in this dinner also where you receive many greetings again because many of us priests have served here in this dinner, the bigger one. Therefore, you receive the greetings of His Eminence, John Cardinal Njue. And greetings also from Bishop David Kamau. They greet you. Very much aware that you are celebrating, they wish you a joyous celebration. I wonder whether you are joyous, but you should be. You are? Yeah, please carry this joy back to your homes. Carry it in your heart. Carry it in your, in your heart. How are your hearts? Is your heart okay? Is your heart okay? Yeah, that is the question that the patron saint of the big ordinary, Saint Philip of Neri, endeavored to answer in life. It was specifically about the heart, just like Saint Francis. They lived together around the same time, they lived in the same century. Yeah, this Saint Philip of Neri came in also at the time when there was a lot of reformation in the church. But, but reformation because there were many things that had happened. And had happened in a way that gradually people of God drifted away from that sense of small Christian community. Small Christian co community. God had to bring them back. You remember at that time also, in answer to what the question was today, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And Peter was given the primacy of the seat of God, the Christ. People, many things were drifting away from there. It has been a question, it's been a challenge in, in our human history and especially Christian history to drift away from the reality and to be impressed, to impress like with other things like Father also mentioned to us because of the influences that are there at that time. Talk the materialism, the spirit that comes in, sight, sight geist, the spirit of the time. So I want to concentrate on this one fairly in relationship with what we are talking about Christian communities. Jesus, in the first reading and in the setting, second reading, is, is talking about communality. And even he, he becomes our own Eucharist because we should be one and we should grow together. But because of the tendencies that come in, in our human life, we were separating. That formed the first council, the first council of the bishop, or the priests, of the people of God, the apostles in Jerusalem. And they came together. And they had started like St. Luke in his teachings, who impressed the gift of the Holy Spirit. They came together, they stayed together. And they ate together and they shared together. That spirit was not to go away. So it had to be emphasized and revitalized in the councils that came in. We still talk of councils and we talk of synods. We talk of councils and say synods. Those are the areas. Councils go to declare the doctrine and the teaching of the church. And the synods go to declare the pastoral directives and teachings are on the teachings of the church. So they have been there always. At that time, during the time of St. Philip of Neri, in relationship with the Gospel and reading today, it was still that we have to be centered on Christ. But because of what happened in the church, you have read the history when Protestantism came in. 
It was not so bad, it was not wrong, but it was something that can come and comes in families where people are staying together. Where two or three are gathered together, praying, there I am, they say it's God, Jesus Christ. But the devil says the same thing. Where two or three are gathered, there I also I am. I am. The devil uses the same formula. So history of the church goes on that way. And that time we realized the time of St. Philip of Neri, around the same time of St. Martin Luther, the church was divided. Martin Luther questioned the primacy of the seat of Peter, and he stayed, stood out of the primacy. Something he also wanted to support and to encourage and to modify so that it may grow. On the other hand, we have people around the same time, like St. Francis of Assisi and St. Philip of Neri. The young person born in Florence and goes on to Rome itself to fight against what would cause division in the church. And how does he fight it? He fights within the church itself. He fights within the church itself. He says, the church has solutions to its own problems, to its own pro problems. And therefore, this is what he does. He's very famous by saying he created rhetoric. He created rhetoric where people could come. They could sing to God. They could pray to God. They could talk to God. They could do everything to God because of the challenges that they were there at that time. People were depressed. People were depressed. People were anxious. So he used that method, bringing the people together. Francis is talking and bringing people together in peace. And St. Philip of Neri bringing people together in worship. In worship. And you can do anything, he told them. Be you a priest, be you a sister, be you a bishop, be you a father. You can do anything before God. But remember, your love, your dancing should not offend God. That's what he said. And he allowed them to do it and it became territories everywhere. And in it, he was still encouraging in his own time and the spirit of his time was encouraging small Christian communities. Small Christian communities. Without knowing. But perhaps if you were, if you had been here in Africa, it would have come up the way we, we are doing. But there he did the same. To encourage people and to motivate them to pray together. To pray together in communion. In one heart, one spirit, and one, one soul. In doing that, it was not easy for him. The history tells us. St. Philip of Neri had got his heart on fire. His heart on fire? On fire. You can read him. Yeah, you can that we can Google even where now. They say anytime he was even in the coldest place that he was sitting and doing preaching the, the word of God, his heart could radiate a lot of heat. Could radiate a lot of it. So much so that even the people in there were not feeling cold anymore, but they were feeling that warmth because of the word of God that radiates the heat. The spirit of God that radiates the, the heat among them. So that it could even open the windows so they may have clear ventilation of the air. So, he is a miracle, a miraculous person. That is known about him. And it, he is the same saint that you, as Christians, the bigger saint ordinary, had impressed and continue to impress. Embrace him in your celebrations. And embrace Christ in your celebrations. And in your celebrations, in the dinaries, in the parishes, in the small Christian communities, and in the families. Am I clear? Embrace him. Teach about him. Teach him to your children. And let them learn also the fire that burned from his heart and radiated the heat to everybody to sustain 
and perpetuate Christianity up to where it is now. At that time, he was the patron the Christian of Rome city. But now, as you have embraced him, he is also the patron and Christian of the St. Ordinary of Nairobi city. He will do wonders for you. He will do wonders for you. For that reason, I was thinking what we can do as we celebrate today. And as Father mentioned, the family is the core of everything. And we are creating a bigger family. I wanted to encourage the family that celebrates together. The family that celebrates together in line with Saint Philip of Neri, who brought everybody from the villages, from the streets, and brought them together amid that situation of a lot of doubts, a lot of difficulties in faith and in belief, to praise God, to thank Him, and to be healed. He created that spirit of the small Christian community. And it was a family that we celebrates. I want you to understand, and I want to believe, and I want you to look at everything as you see, as you are Catholic. The Catholic faith is a church that celebrates. It's a church that cele celebrates. It celebrates pregnancy. It's equally. Yeah. It celebrates pregnancy. It's equally. If mama, you're pregnant, you go to the priest, he will bless you. Because he knows what you are. It celebrates births. It celebrates baptisms. It celebrates forgiveness of sins, all the sacraments. It celebrates even death, knowing that death is not the end. Death is a new birth into eternity. It celebrates that way. And it has all its own structures for to enable that celebration. The basic structure is the family and the small Christian community in our terms here. It celebrates that. We know in celebrating as a faith community, we have opportunity always to be willing to face on shortcoming, our shortcomings with, limited, with humility, with courage, and with hope. When we celebrate here, we come to celebrate so that with that humility, and with that hope, and with that courage, we can overcome our shortcomings in life the challenges that you are going through in your life. The community, in our community, when we admit this to happen, we resolve bigger problems. We solve bigger problems. And we resolve them not that we are finishing everything, because there are even some natural problems which come. We cannot resolve them, but, but they resolve us. It's yeah, there are problems, quarreling in the homes, doing everything. We resolve them by sitting together in humility, in, in, in love to God, in, God in, charity, in charity, in humility, in courage and hope. We resolve our problems. In the family, it's the same. Everywhere is the same. Because they are human. But there are also some natural calamities. So that's when they come, we start asking God, what is it, what is it happening? They resolve us. They resolve us. As if we were a problem, then we learn to adjust ourselves in many ways. So, a community is really a home where we resolve problems so as we may continue celebrating the gift of life. That they may have life and life in full. That Christ may serve them through the servants, the priests, by feeding them, by taking care of them resolve in the community. So, we come here to encourage one another in that manner. We approach the problems so that we can become better fashions of ourselves. So that we may become better fashions of ourselves. So that we may participate on the path of individual effort of walking in holiness. On the path of walking in holiness. Because you resolve them also for yourself. If there are issues between you and the other one, 
you are forgiven and others forgiven. And you relate and interact with God. And you become, you become a blessing because always you'll be blessed by the priest, by the sacraments you receive, by the gestures you do as a Catholic Christian, even with the water that you do, you take on your, 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 use your, your face on the sign of the, the cross, you become a blessing. You become a, a blessing. You become a blessing. Even in those moments, you go to the Christian communities where you might have challenges. And because now we have new elections which have gone on and people, some were not, were not, were not agreeing. But then we come together to find better solutions. We come together to find better solutions. Because in the spirit of St. Philip of Neri is that our problems, our challenges, have their solutions in our faith. Have their solutions in our faith. So we come to do that. These issues that I'm talking about, the problems can be individual problems. They can also be problems in the marriages. They can be problems in the families. They can be problems in business, in our nation, and in our church. But let us face the problems now. And there will be a whole new set of problems coming again. There will be a whole new set of problems coming again. Jump one hurdle, another one comes. But as Christians, we are asked now to keep on with God Himself to carry the cross. To carry the cross. Allow God to change our hearts. Allow God to change our just as he changed the heart of St. Philip of Neri, just as he changed the heart of many others whom he asked questions, so the same it is you today. It is you today. The most effective messenger whose heart has been changed and who has the good news of God from God is none other than yourself. It's none other than yourself. It's not that that yourself. Just like Peter. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? It was himself. And what he did was to witness to how he loves Jesus Christ. The same question is to ask today, even individual, every individual of us. And with the way we respond to it is the way we love Jesus Christ. The way we love Jesus Christ. You know, as we celebrate this, I want to encourage you with the saints that you have, you choose around you, and Saint Philip of Neri, as I said, compared with Saint Francis of Assisi, they share in the common direction of creating communities, of creating communities, of creating communities. Much as Saint Francis of Assisi was a, a, a lay Christian, fervent in faith, he chose to get communities which are religious, which are religious. And Philip of Neri, he was, who was a priest, he chose also to get communities who are lay people. Who are lay people. Among them, some of them became priests. For example, Newman, Cardinal Newman became a priest and a cardinal afterwards, but he had concentrated on the lives of the people of God. To instill in them the celebration in the church consists in participating in the sacraments. Participating in the sacraments. Participating in the life of the church as we are taught. In the Christian communities, in your small ch in your churches where you are, particular churches I mean, and in your family. And in your family. So St. Francis of Assisi said once, wherever you go, now he's talking to us as such. Wherever you go, preach the gospel at all times. Preach the gospel at all times. Preach the gospel at all times. And only when necessary, and only when necessary, use words. Use words. Use words. Wana sema? Kugana kwe? Kugana? Yeah, which is stronger than the other one. Eh? 
Eh? Kuega ndiyo? Yeah, that's what St. Francis is telling us. Sangiru we talk maneno, 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 haya saidi. Mungu anasema, I want to see your act of justice, your act of charity. When I was angry, you gave me to feed, to eat. When I was naked, you gave me to dress. Whatever you did to my brother, that you did unto to me in the times of difficulties. So, our culture is hungry of kwe? Kwaya nini? Kwega. I believe you understand it. And I believe as Catholics, the best way to defend the faith in celebrating today and or forever your faith is to act. Is to, to do what? To act. They know that you are a Christian by, by what? By your actions. So don't be ashamed. Be strong and courageous to go to your Christian communities as you share there, as you plan to grow and develop. Use the words and the examples of Christ. Take care of my sheep. Love my sheep. Love and care has its own actions. Has its own actions. So, Catholicism is to live the faith more fully with, with each other, passing on day by day and allowing it to reach into every corner of our life. Every corner of our, our life. In the corner of your knowledge, intellect, you have schools that are called Asian schools, they are called Christian schools, they teach the Catholic faith. In the corner of your spiritual life, we are talking now about the churches, we are talking about Christian communities, we are talking about many of those. In the corner of your professional life, I see many of you, as I travel along the road, I see, as you look through the window, I see many of you carrying rosaries. Sinigweli? Yeah, I've seen all this sign. Oh, that's Mukristo, Mukristo, Catholic. I'm a beba nini? Not just as a symbol outside there, but the inner meaning. The inner meaning. The spirit of the, the times. In your lives, in the communities, let it be so. Let it be so. And in it, God will establish a loving relationship between you and himself. Let us go back to our homes to celebrate love. To celebrate love. Let us go back to our Christian communities, our homes, and wherever we are, to celebrate love, to celebrate honesty, to celebrate mercy, to celebrate forgiveness, to celebrate kindness and generosity, and what not. Those are the virtues. Don't go and start celebrating destruction, deceit, perversion, corruption, pride, condemnations. Those ones are not ours. Those are not ours. Our heart is not burning for that. So we become what we celebrate. We become what we celebrate. This is true of the person who celebrates. This is true of the family that celebrates. This is true of the nation, of the church, of the Christian communities. That is very true. So we become what we celebrate. My dear people, I want to conclude with you. The future of the church, the future of the church is what we are celebrating now. So that's all. The future of the church is what we are celebrating now. The church is in our hands. The church is in our hands. And how loudly are you that God accepted to give you the church, to give it into your hands like he did through Peter himself. The church is implanted in your heart. The church is implanted in your And you can be certain that it will be what we celebrate today. It will be what we celebrate today. And for that reason, I have encouraged you, what Father 
had written and also it is still here recommendations that are carried there with to follow them up we shall review them again come next year so that in pursuit of enhancing a church that is self ministering self propagating and self supporting the efforts need to be what i mentioned here need to be encouraged to to strengthen and rejuvenate the reality and the participation in christian communities as guided by the church in its uh, guidelines of small christian communities through the universal synod and synodality on synodality, synodality process on communion participation and mission the fruits of this synodality should be received through the small christian communities as we say synodality produces the directives and the directions of how we should practically live our christian life this is because all the members have their place and role in the small christian communities where each like the first christians will be able to share your own talents and your own gifts all proceeds were brought together and were distributed to each one according to the needs when you go there you open up to this situation and i'm sure god is calling you to that just like he called said philip of neri he is calling you back to that with this background i therefore invite you all christians to join small christian communities and to participate actively in them because by praying and sharing with our fellow christians we will grow stronger in faith especially in matters of prayer sacramental life and even in charity or charitable works by reaching out to the needy we invoke the intercession of the obedient mary mother of god and mother of the church and our own partner personal patron saints from the each parish that we come may god bless you may god love you may god guide you may he protect you and may he strengthen you in your faith and in your resolve amen, amen. thank you journey a channel of faith through our small Christian communities. Now we arise for the prayers of the faithful. ask those who are to lead us to come here yeah, to lead us so to god the father almighty dear brothers and sisters may every prayer of our heart be directed for his will it is that the humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of truth prayer for the church let us pray that christ may bless the family of the church and fill our pope bishops priests deacons consecrated men and women and all the baptized with many spiritual gifts lord hear us lord gracious hear prayer prayer for our leaders let us pray for our leaders that they may be inspired and guided by the message of christ in their way of handling the political economic and church affairs of our country for the benefit of all 
Lord, hear us. Lord, us. Prayer for our dinaries. Let us pray for our two dinaries gathered here today that the example of powerful intercession of our patron saint, Philip Neri, and the ongoing process of, process of the canonization of the servant of God, Michael Morris Cardinal Otunga, may stir up in us the desire and energy to live with joy our call to holiness. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Prayer for special needs. Let us pray that Christ may bless those who have no families, heal them of their inner woods, and help them discover in the small Christian community and church at large their new family where they are welcomed and feel at home, and that Christ may bless couples who are going who are going through difficult times so that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit to overcome their problems. Lord, hear us. Lord, pray Prayer for our departed brothers and sisters. Let us ask the Lord to hasten the transition of souls in purgatory to heaven and to grant our departed brothers and sisters continued rest in his kingdom where we hope to enjoy forever the vision of his glory. Lord, hear us. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you, yourself, are the source of all devotion and grant we pray that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. This is over three, and we ask the Catholic Women Association, as you are the organized, to lead us in this time of over three. Choir, please. That's all. Those who are paying through the baby is five nine three five zero zero account is Sadaka. Baby five nine three five zero zero account is Sadaka. <laughs> Oh, yes, in the presence. 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable with the God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of St. Philip of Neri, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Philip, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without, without end we acclaim.
to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Zappo was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his saving passion, his wondrous resurrection, and his ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by his body and his blood may become one spirit and one body in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, a glorious martyrs with Saint Philip Neri, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, and be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope Philip Agnolo our Bishop Bishop David Kamau the auxiliary in the order of bishops all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the Ooh. prayers of this family Ooh. whom you have summoned Passing. before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we are waiting the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Amani ya Mungu Baba iwe nasi daima milele Amani ya Mungu Baba iwe nasi daima milele Amani ya Mungu Baba iwe nasi daima Amani ya Mungu Baba iwe nasi daima Amani ya Mungu Baba iwe nasi daima Amani ya Mungu Baba iwe nasi
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
of the Thanksgiving song that we have post communion prayer. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in, in imitation of St. Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessings. May Almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May he nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. And may he turn your steps towards himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace of Christ, our mass is Thank you, God. Ask the choir for two stanzas of exit. Him, but we are not going. We are here. We have the second part. Choir, please. Second. 
duas danças. They'll touch co dancers, you take your positions so that we can go through the sort program we have before we head to our various parishes. Could you have permission, Your Grace? We we'll have a short program in which Father Professor Lawrence Njeroge will lead us with his message on the beatification of our servant of God, Maurice Cardinal Otunga. After the message of Father Professor Lawrence Njeroge, we we'll have Mr. Adrian who will give some presentation about the Caritas Microfinance Bank. From there, we we'll have the Central Ordinary Moderator, Mr. Bernard Ward, who will introduce to us all, and especially to his grace, the executive of both deaneries of Central and the Capital Deanery. And I will, as they prepare to come, I will ask those who are entertaining us, please get prepared and be brief as possible. We will start with this PMC of St. Franz Xavier Parklands. The animators, please prepare the children for that. To the youth, we have the YSC, Youth Serving Christ, from St. Peter's Clevers, and the young Christian adults from the Holy Family Basilica. Be prepared, please. CWA, you have an item from St. Peter's Clevers and the CMA from the Holy Family Basilica. It happened that Holy Family Basilica and the Clevers had this because in their competition, they matched victorious. You will give them a clap, please. <laughs> so those groups, as I mentioned, be prepared and we, when we finish, we will ask for you for five minutes of you, then we finish. Father Professor Lawrence, your chance, please. Take the stage. Baba Asofuetu, Filippo Agnolo, Nandugu Padre, well, you have my sister Pia, now all of my brother. Na familia ya Mungu iliyo hapa Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati God is good and all the time 
Wow. I am very grateful to the organizers of this family day, those of the Central Deanery and those of the Kabete Deanery. Very grateful for this opportunity. Uh, my brother John, Father John Wamuti, and uh, Father Edwin Hunja, and indeed the owners of those deaneries because of this opportunity. I am speaking on behalf and as a member of the Central Committee, headed by Father Peter Kaigua, the Central Committee for the Beatification of the Servant of God, Maurice Maiko Kadno Otunga. For the last three months, I have spoken on behalf of the Central Committee and I have done so in eight parishes. And not only me, it has been the Pauline's uh, publications, Daughters of St. Paul, and we have delivered the message regarding the heroic virtues of the servant of God, Maurice Maiko Cardinal Tunga, in St. Paul's University Chapel, Nairobi, Our Lady of the Rosary Ridgeways, Regina Chelly, Karen, the Holy Family Basilica, Queen of Apostles Parish, Waraka, St. Patrick's Thika, St. Austin's Nairobi, and last Sunday, Tulikua, St. John the Baptist, Langata, that was last Sunday. And I would like to begin by thanking the, those parishes and the parish priests in all those parishes, your grace, because we were given a very, very warm welcome and a very conducive environment in which to promote the heroic virtues of the servant of God and also to ask for his intercession. Na kwa hivyo tunatua shukrani kwa mapadre viongozi wa parokia hizo zote mimi pamoja na daughters of St. Paul kwa sababu we were given a very warm welcome to rekaribishwa na mikono yote miwili. Or both, yote miwili, one, two, yote miwili. Last Sunday, I spoke during the 20th anniversary not last Sunday, but during the 20th anniversary of the death of the servant of God, I spoke at Queen of Apostles Parish, Ruaraka. And exactly a month ago, I gave the memorial lecture at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa in commemoration of the passing on of the servant of God, Maurice Maiko Kadno Tunga. And two days ago, I was at Hekima College during the research week, again speaking on the heroic virtues and the process of the beatification and canonization of the servant of God. And the daughters of St. Paul and I have been given a great welcome in all those places. Maurice Cardinal Tunga loved the young people. He loved the youth. And I do recall that as a seminarian in the 1970s, Cardinal Otunga addressing members of the young Christian students, the YCS, in St. Teresa's Parish, East Lee. And he shared with us his life story. He shared with us the story of his vocation. And he said that his own father, Paramount Chief Sudi Namachanja, wanted young Otunga to succeed him as the Paramount Chief of the Bukusu people. And he inherit herds and herds of cattle and flocks, of sheep and goats, and Cardinal Otunga went on, telling us the story. And he said to us, 
persons gathered from all the dioceses of Kenya, but that the Lord had called him to be a shepherd, not of cattle, not of sheep, not of goats, but of the family of God in the Catholic Church. And we do celebrate the servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Otunga, as a shepherd of the family of God. Those who had contact, direct contact with Cardinal Otunga know one thing. That to have been in contact with Cardinal Tunga was to, be, to have been in touch with goodness. To have been in touch with Cardinal Tunga was to be in touch with holiness. Because a good and holy man recently lived among us. There are persons here, I can bet, who received the sacrament of confirmation from the hands of the servant of God. True or not, are there persons here who received confirmation from the servant of God? Hands up, let us see. There must be, oh yeah, they begin with the priest here, Father Kaigua and uh, Father Hunja, and I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, the Bible says you need two witnesses. <laughs> I have more than two witnesses. To, we have more than two witnesses. To have been in touch with Kadno Tunga was to have been in touch with G, goodness. To have been in touch with Kadno Tunga was to be in touch with H, holiness. A good and holy man recently lived among us. And I am sure that there are religious sisters here who received their religious vows, who made their religious vows. I can see some from the servant of God and religious brothers. They are here. And therefore, we are here to deliver a very, very simple message. Our Archbishop, as the petitioner for the beatification and canonization of the servant of God, is inviting us to pray, and to pray seriously, and to pray fervently, so that the process of the beatification of the servant of God may be successful, and that the servant of God is going to be elevated from the level of servant, and the matter is coming up very, very soon in the congregation before the dicastery in Rome that uh, judges those matters. Therefore, we are being invited to pray, and that is why I am here, and the daughters of St. Paul are here in order to obey the invitation and to accept the invitation of the petitioner, our Archbishop, and that we pray fervently and seriously that this process is going to be successful. And also pray for the intercession of the servant of God himself. And therefore, I am going, because I was given 10 minutes, I think I have used a seven or eight, Sister Olga Masango. We have been working together. Let us continue that collaboration, promoting the heroic virtues of the servant of God. The day that the servant of God is going to be pronounced a saint, is going to be uh, the biggest day, uh, the kairos of the history of the Catholic Church in this country. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Sister Olga. Big round of applause for Father Njeroge. Thank you. God is good. And all the time. I am one of those that the servant of God, Cardinal Otunga, celebrated the first profession. So it is with emotion, but also with the great joy that I really accompany Father Lawrence in this process of making known this 
son of our land. I am here on behalf of the Daughters of St. Paul, Pauline's Publications Africa, to tell you that we can still know better Cardinal Otunga because Father Lawrence has written this book, A Century Beyond Century of Endeavor, a history of the Catholic Church. And on this book, especially the last chapter, he has dedicated to Cardinal Otunga. We know very well even the pastoral activities we are carrying on on this, our archdiocese, are really have been really initiated by Cardinal Otunga because through his participation on the fourth session of the Vatican Council, he brought them the reality of the pastoral changes in the church to this, our country. So uh -huh. I invite you to get this book, A Beyond Century of Endeavor, A History of the Catholic Church in Kenya, to know better how can we really know Cardinal Otunga, but how our church is growing today. We have also a biography of Cardinal Otunga. And we are just behind here of this tent with our stand and many other books that will help you to deepen your faith. And thank you very much. Thank you, His Grace Philip Agnolo, for this opportunity and also for challenging us to go beyond and bring this good news of our servant of God. Thank you. And thank you. A big round of applause for Father Lawrence and the sister for the good work and we pray for this process. I now ask Mr. Adrian, please take your three minutes. I'll give us a presentation about the sent the Caritas Microfinance Bank. Mr. Adrian, please, where you are. Or a representative of the Caritas Microfinance Bank. If they are not around, ask Mr. Bernard Ogor, please come forward on behalf of the Centro and Cabeta Dinari to introduce the Zagatu team of both dinaries to his grace and the faithful who are here. A big of a round of applause as your protest also. God is good. And all the time. Your grace, Bishop Philip Agnolo the Metropolitan Bishop of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, Father Dean Wamuti and Father Edwin Hunja, the Deans of Central and Kabete Deanery, respectively, the priests present, the sisters, men and women religious, and the Christians at large. God is good. To the CWA, strong in faith. CWA, Good family, good church, good, church. good family. God is good once again. Time. Your grace, before we make our few remarks, we want to celebrate this day in a special way because this has been the home of the Central Deanery. And today we thought it would be created to a father and a son, but the CWA has taken it away from us. It's the mother's end, but where the mother is successful, Simze Yukoapokando, 
So we celebrate, we celebrate ourselves for this great day. So your grace today as you visit us, you come at a point then we are facing a very interesting situation. What we say, very vitu ziko kwa ground. We are at a situation after COVID where most especially the male gender have gone virtual. Football is virtual, we go to US, we go to UK. And most men, we've had whispers from the grapevine of the CWA and the Wamamas, their men are not coming to church. And reason being, so we can just stream. Capuchin is there, we support. And it's a concern that we may need to address. And as I was thinking about this, Your Grace, I thought about your invitation even as you came here. And I envisaged a situation where as we prepared for this mass and it's 10 o'clock and we start and Father Bernard here, the head of liturgy comes and tells us, now prepare, his grace will be streaming right from. So we celebrate this mass in view sasa. How would it be? How would you imagine? Would you envisage a holy Eucharist celebrated in view sasa? It means every morning when God calls him afresh, he has to respond, oh yes. Oh yes. Sindio? Yes. So you heard about oh yes. yes. So even today when you woke up, what did he say? Oh, yes. Here I am. Oh, yes. yes. So we thank you. Let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> so your grace, my task was mainly to give a vote of thanks. But before that, I wish to introduce the teams that God has called to work with your servant, Father Edwin and Father Omuti. So I will start with the Kabete Dinari, please. Just come forward. Gilbert and team, kindly just come forward. Let's give them a hand of applause. <laughs> your grace in African culture is said you cannot thank people you have never seen. When Father Hunja is in trouble with waters, you need to know who is driving, who is working with him. So we present to you the team led by Mr. Gilbert, as they are. This is the team that your servant, Father Edwin, shall work with in the now daughter, the Kabete Dinari. Let's give them a big hand of applause. So the executive just allow me to mention in passing quickly. For Kabete, we have Gilbert from St. Catherine of Siena as the moderator. We have Isaac Ondieki from Holy Trinity. Nyambura Faith, he's the younger part of Kabete. From St. Austin, our host, she's the secretary. Timothy Murunga is the vice secretary. And finally, we have Revina Mbuya from St. Raphael Kabete as the treasurer. We want to thank you, Your Grace. This team has been at the center of this presentation and preparation. And without them, we may have not achieved as much as we've done. So we want to thank them even as we present them to you. We request maybe at the end of our vote of thanks that you bless them together with those of Central Dinner so that as they start, they know that God is with them. At the end, with your permission, I request them to come back again. Thank you so much. Let's give them a hand of applause. And now, Your Grace, to the central dinari whom you've equated to the mother, Father Wamuti's team whom we work with, allow me to invite the, the executive of the central dinari, please just come forward. Let's save time, please. Encourage them by your claps. <laughs> so Your Grace, this is the team from the central dinari. From the extreme right, we have Angela. Let me just read this. Angela Nyanjom from the Our Lady Queen of Peace. She's our vice moderator. <laughs> we have Caroline Munene from St. Catherine of from St. Catherine South Sea as our vice secretary. 
we have Josphat Motunu from Shrine Mary Help of Christian Upper Hill. And your grace, it's interesting to note, Josphat is the first male to be entrusted with the treasury. <laughs> so let's give him a big hand of applause. And then we have Steve Kironzo from St. Paul University as our secretary. And then I've been called, so this is the team we are working with, I've been called I'm Bernard Wolf from Holy Family Basilica. We work with Father Simon Peter Kamumoy. It's not that he's absent, he's on reef and is represented by Father Ndishu. So I bring you greetings from our father in charge. Mepokea? Asante Nisan. Now, thank you so much, you can have your seats. Now allow me then to move to the vote of thanks. I want to begin by thanking each and every one of us who has made this occasion a success. We thank you individually and immeasurably for your time to be here today. May God bless and protect all of you. We want to thank and bless God for our Father Deans and uh, Father Edwin being the maiden Dean of Kabete, we celebrate him. Let's celebrate him again. <laughs> and Father Wamuti, whom we'll be working with for the central dinner, now the mother. <laughs> your grace, in your wisdom, as we appreciate this too, it just occurred to me that the mother knows how to get a new home. Because the central dinner, we have been asking, how did St. Austin slip off? This has been our default home. <laughs> but in your wisdom, I just came to appreciate that since the mother and the father set the home, they can easily find another place to rest. So we thank you. And even as we thank them, and as we celebrate this joint celebration, we want to pray God that the two shall find points of synergy to find reason for the mother and the daughter to visit so that this does not become a farewell till we meet again in heaven. So we ask you to find reason to converge us together every so often. Let's give them another hand of applause. We want to thank, in a very special way, Father Bernard. We normally think liturgy is a very simple thing, but he's putting order in the entire diocese. And Your Grace, I want to confirm that there's a journey that has begun. We are beneficiaries as Basilica, and I know there are efforts to align our liturgy in all parishes. And as you've entrusted to him, our feedback as the way is that we are on track and we thank him for finding time. Let's appreciate him. We want to thank the deans of, the chaplains of the choir. And we want to thank the dean together with the choir. Father, you can, uh, your grace, you cannot imagine that these are people who were in competition the other day. <laughs> who could not talk to each other, now singing and praising God together. Isn't it lovely? Let's appreciate the choir and their chaplain. Let's appreciate them again. Thank you so much. We want to thank all the priests present. Thank you so much for your presence. And in a special way, allow me to make a mention of Father Mondi, our host. As of midnight yesterday, he was here. And I've seen him do a number of trips today together with his team. Let's appreciate him, our host and the priest. And in that line, also allow me to appreciate the host parish and make a single mention. And I think, Your Grace, this is important. There's one Dr. Mbati. Where are you, Dr. Mbati? Where are you? Can we be upstanding? Your Grace, allow me to mention. You need Kujambele Wakwane. Allow me to make a, a specific reason why we have to mention Dr. I noticed that CMA makes people a bit younger. CWA. She looks a bit younger than we have been seeing her. And uh, I wish to appreciate these lady fellow Christians in a special way because she reminds us that wisdom comes with age. 
When Nyambuza is moving, moving a bit fast, she tells us, no, there are things you are forgetting. She reminds us. And she's exemplary in the sense that she's the best timekeeper. She never came late by a minute in all respects. And I also realized that when you have passion and love for what you do, you do not age. And I think that was inspiring, and therefore it was important to make a special mention. Let's appreciate Dr. Tari, even as she sits. Thank you so much. And your grace, the next group I want to thank will interest you more. It's related to the question we asked. The CWA have been saying it's written. The Bible is very clear. Where do you find a good wife? Where do you find a good woman? It's all in the scripture. Proverbs 31. Sindio, where do you get a good wife? And they read detail by detail. Now today, the men have done enough research. <laughs> and the answer is back. Mume muema ni nani? The Holy Family Basilica CMA will be giving the answer. And I pray the ladies will take notes and, and reach their homes with the same. So even as we thank the CMA, let's also prepare to appreciate the message they are bringing home. Mume muema ni nani? Let's appreciate the CMA for the coordination and the planning and making things work well. And your grace, the women, the CWA. I've just mentioned to you how younger she looked and how we mistakenly could not identify people we knew when they dawned in CWA. They have been the best backbone of the church and the strongest pillar in our church. So we want to thank you all our mothers and ladies. Let's put our hands together and appreciate those who are strong in faith, the CWA. There was a Mr. Titus Wairate who came just before us. And I think uh, with your permission, I would suggest that the parishes invites him for a speech. Today to Mzimia time Kidogo. Sindio, did he share all he needed to share? Did you learn anything? Nikizungu, to see how you appear to explain. So, oh yes, your grace means that heaven doors can open. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's appreciate our speaker. <laughs> we want to thank all our service providers, and as we thank them, we want to remind us that our father deans have prepared a table for us, not because we can't afford, but because it is necessary and is important. We have meals prepared at the end of this mass, and so we want to thank all our service providers in a special way, in all their respects. Let's just appreciate all the service providers. We want to thank the media fraternity, which has become a critical and an integral part of our liturgy, the Capuchin TV and Radio Maria. Those members of our community who are unwell and unable to come and are able to appreciate and join us, come through the two. So let's appreciate them once again. <laughs> Your Grace, there's another emerging community which needs to be given more attention, and we want to thank them for finding time, the deaf community. For the longest time, they have not been visible. But today they are here with us. Just lift up your hands. I may not know how to communicate in their sign language, but I want to believe they are part of us and we appreciate them. Thank you so much. Those members of our society who may be members of that deaf community, you are encouraged to rise with them so that we walk together. And to those of us who have been blessed, let's also try and run so that we can assist in our various parishes. So thank you so much once again, the deaf community. To the mass servers, the future priests and bishops, let's appreciate them. We want to thank St. John Ambulance, who are here for first aid. 
Normally we take them for granted because things do not go wrong. But when things go wrong, we just realize that we were safe because of their presence. They are here with us. Let's appreciate St. John Ambulance. And then we now go to our MCs, Father Ogutu and uh, Faith Nyambura. You've been working together. Let's appreciate them. Our host parish, we have talked about them. We want to thank His Eminence, John Cardinal Njue and Bishop David in absentia. We receive their, greeting, their greetings and appreciate their continued support in various activities within the deaneries. We want to thank Reverend Professor Father Lawrence. Thank you so much. We only hear about Cardinal Morris Otunga in great way, but I believe it's in our time that God's will shall be fulfilled. We pray that God gives an, as an opportunity to celebrate even as you're still there. So thank you so much. And to everyone whom I may have forgotten, the children, the PMC, in a special way, able to apigia makofi. Thank you so much. As you noted, this celebration was focusing on the small Christian community, and His Grace did emphasize on the 50th year we are marking this. So how good are your small Christian communities? It would be important that as we go under the intercession of our Saint Philip, we may ask ourselves how can we enrich our small Christian communities? And I want to thank us even as we come to the close of this session and pray that we shall find reasons to have exchange programs that shall build all of us. If we've not found time to thank you individually, feel appreciated and thanked for your time, participation, and contribution. May God bless us and be with us today and in time to come. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Bernard. And now, Your Grace, with your permission, I request the executives to come so that you may bless them. Thank you. A big round of applause for Mr. Bernard and all the two dinaries executives. We pray for them and we urge them to work for their souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, ever-living God, you gather us together as the dinaries, Central and Gabete, to carry the gospel of Christ to all people. Bless the members of these dinaries. Let your spirit enlighten their minds, especially these leaders here, and guide all their actions that they may be renewed in faith and united in love and bring to fulfillment the work of your church to your greater honor and glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. A big round of applause for these leaders. And thank His Grace for the blessing. Your Grace, with your permission, allow me to ask the two deans to be upstanding. Father Edwin and Father John Wamuti, Tumbwa Pikie Makofi Makubwa. On the right, we have Father Edwin Kunja, the parish priest of St. Travis Kabete, and also the dean of Kabete in Altumbuge Makofiten. And on our left, we have Father John Wamuti, the parish priest of St. Paul's Chapel, and also the dean of St. Rodina. Tumbuge Makofiten. Thank you, Father Deans. Be seated. But the church asks us to pay allegiance to ecclesiastical authority. 
And we want to give them humble time in the work they are going to serve for the next years. Now, you are graced with your permission. We have five entertaining items, which would be brief. And I see the CMA, they are ready. Ask you to come, CMA of the Holy Family Basilica. I know, they have a message. To wapigi makofi wakingia. Tuombe watoto PMC from Parkland, St. Francis Parkland, wajiandae, wakwe karibu hapo mali akina baba walikuwa. Wafuatwe na YSC na YSA, tumalizie na akina mama. Tu wapigi makofi makubwa wakingia. CMA, that's the Holy Family Basilica. Once more, a big round of applause for the men of the Holy Family Basilica. Thank you. And we ask you to start the item, please. I 
Thank you, and we ask you to keep that spirit. Tunaomba sasa PMC from St. Francis Xavier Parkland. PMC St. Francis Xavier Parkland, jonge apa? To fuatwe na the youth from St. Peter's Clevers, muwe tayari. Mahali hawa watoto wanatoka, wasimame hapo vijana wa St. Peter's Clevers, na wengine wa whole family basically kwa fuatwe kwa sababu ya muda fanya haraka tafadhali watoto wa watoto wa St Francis ya Parkland tu wapigie makofi wakiingia hapa kutumbo hizo Good afternoon, all. On stage is St. Francis Xavier Parkland with an own composition. This year being the year of communion life, our song speaks more about faith in the communion, and we will also be presenting a Thanksgiving song. Karibuni na mtafa karima nene wimbo yetu. Sante.
Kwa sababu sioni vijana naomba kina mama CW Peter's Clevers please come on stage CW see your chance because I don't see the youth and we are going with time I ask them to come forward give them a big round of applause as they come the out Michelle Wamboi with the St. Peter Clever's Youth Presentation on Economic Justice. Travel with me. From the pews to the pulpit, economic justice is within our grip. A moral creed that is central to our faith and what we teach. It is a call to condemn the greed that lingers in our midst. To build systems of equity that lift up the least of these. A community rooted in love and service to our neighbor. We cannot stand idly by as poverty and inequality labor. We must work towards a world where every person can thrive, where access to resources is not determined by zip code or tribe. For too long has the church been silent on matters of wealth and power. But we can no longer deny the ways in which riches devour. We must stand with those who have been marginalized and pushed out and use our collective strength to challenge systems of greed and doubt. The principles of equity, the teachings of our Lord, who crossed the boundaries of class and in love always poured. For in the kingdom of our Lord, there is no high or low, no favored seat for some, and for others, endless woe. The rich and the poor, together, to break bread and to pray. To lift each other up as one, never to estrange. <laughs> Let us live our faith with courage to challenge inequality, to build a just and peaceful world, and with grace set the captives free. May our church be a beacon for a world in need of light, a place of hope and liberation through 
economic justice. We will fight pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Tumpigia makovu makubwa. Thank you, thank you. That is a great message as we welcome the CWA. Tumpigia makovu tena huyo Michelle. CWA, we ask you to approach the stage. Tuwapigia makovu wakingia. Mama kuja ni tu bili jiri maombi ma ni na kufundi li. Mama kuja ni tu bili.
Your grace, your permission, I want to make this announcement before I invite Father John Guam to welcome you for the final remarks and blessing. Announcement number one, from the youth office, the true Father Dominic, that is uh, organization and planning for the rite of passage, which commences on 8th of November. Contact Father Dominic, the youth office, St. Scholastica and St. Benedict. If you can arise, Father Dominic, from the youth office. So, when we finish Mass, please approach him to get clarifications on the right of passage. Number two, Carter's Microfinance Bank, they have a tent. They, they have said you visit to get more clarification about that bank. Number three, from Father Professor Florence Njeroge and Sister, we have prayers and flyers for the beatification of servant of God, Most Cardinal Tunga. There is a tent behind you. Please take the prayers and the flyers. We pray for servant of God in this process of beatification. Radio Maria has asked that you, they will air this uh, mass today, 107.3 FM at 10 p.m. if you want to listen. For us, who will watch, we'll, uh, the Capuchin TV will also air at 8 p.m. and we'll see this mass today. Then, uh, finally, on how we are going for our lunch. The tent in front will be the clergy. The tent which is the side in front of us will be for the clergy. On my right will be for the choir on this right side of this uh, place we have gathered. Behind, we have for the PMC and the children, and the be people are there to guide them. And there are three tents dark behind here. They are meant for all the parishioners who have attended this mass. We thank for those who have arranged for this. Please give them a clap. <laughs> Having done so, I want to end here. And before Father John Wamt comes, I've been asked the candidates for exam this year, they have asked a blessing from His Grace. All the candidates, grade six, class eight and form four who are here from the leadership of the dinary, they asked for prayers from His Grace. I ask you to come forward for the grace to bless you until that we can conclude. All candidates, 
who have attended this mass, please. Class grade six, class eight, and form four. We clap for them as they come forward. Please come first for the blessing from his grace. Kwaya tuwa wakia wimbo wakiwa na jongea. Kuna wale wako nyuma wana jongea. Lord our God, in your wisdom and love, you surround us with the mysteries of the universe. In times long past, you sent us your prophets to teach your laws and to bear witness to your underlying love. You sent us your Son to teach us by word and example that the true wisdom comes from you alone. Send therefore your Holy Spirit upon these young pupils and students, their parents, their guardians, and their teachers, and all the people of goodwill who take care of them and fill them with your wisdom and blessings. Grant that during this academic year and during the examination, they may devote themselves to their studies. And they may also share their knowledge with one another. And they may be gifted with the knowledge and the gift of remembrance and answering correctly and share what they have learned from one another. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you as you prepare for the exams, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you and to wish you good luck in your examinations and success not only in these exams, but success in the rest of your life. May God provide a proper road and proper path for you to follow. And may your parents be competent and capable enough to support you in this endeavor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Uh, please give a thank for the you come to invite Chris. Thank you for the instruction. Your grace, all protocol observed in the interest of time, kindly, kindly allow me to do four things in very quick succession. In fact, in the next three minutes. Number one, I want to thank you for your patience, your grace. Your patience has allowed participation of every Christian here in the segments we assigned them. The church is in a synodal mood, and there is no better way of promoting participation communion, and mission than making everybody in an ecclesial gathering feel relevant and significant. Thank you. On that note, 
you have not let down. Makofi kwa baba askofu. Number two. In my short life, God has granted me the opportunity to shake hands with the two recently lived among us who are already declared saints. Mother Teresa of Calcutta and John Paul II. The servant of God ordained me. We were a cluster of nine. We were the last to be ordained by him. My brother, Father Rollins, I pray honestly and sincerely that before my journey here on earth expires, I will be able to say together with the Christians, Saint Michael Mad Saint Michael Morris Cardinal Tunga, pray for us. We have been given the assignment to continue praying for the cause of his beatification. Take it seriously. The third, with your permission, your grace, is to let this congregation know that at the beginning of this year, you elevated what was Family Life Office to a Family Life Department of the Archdiocese of Nairobi. It has a board, Father Simon Kamomoy of uh, the Holy Family Basilica is the head of that department. I happen to be his assistant. And our desire is that as we work together and among you, that our families will become cradles of life and love. I have a strong feeling that when we sit down to craft the pastoral calendar of our archdiocese, for 2024, that is grace. We will grant us an opportunity to gather as a diocese and celebrate families. The fourth one is to invite you for your last word and to bless our meal because it is going to be a very important item in our next segment of this Family Day celebration. Your grace. So thank you, Father Dean. Uh, and thank you, everybody, with the, for the good work that was done. And I want to thank especially our friend who thanked all of us in a special manner. <laughs> Nobody thanked him. Thank you very much. I want to appreciate all I've seen, I've seen and observed. First of all, I want to appreciate the choir. You are very respectful. <laughs> you are in your own league. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, you are number one, but second to nobody. Because <laughs> you cannot compete with anybody apart from competing with the angels. Oh, yes. So, stay united. Oh, yes. Tell your neighbor, it is wonderful we sang together. Oh, yes. We shall keep it up as dinneries and as dinnery. I want to appreciate you even in the style of the young ones dancing liturgical dancers. It was this time rumba. <laughs> it was not anything else, but it was like rumba. I don't know whether you know rumba. Yes. That's why they were dancing, it was like rumba. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. And our mothers did not let us down. They did it even the best. They did the best. So, so, yeah, they danced twist. And it was excellent. 
and our fathers, they sang. And the song they sang is really what the church says, the faith of our fathers. So thank you very much for the fathers for singing a wonderful song that will guide this mother church in the coming many other years. So you are the fathers of the faith in the mother church as Sunday Sana. I want to thank my brothers in the priesthood and sisters and brothers in the service of the Lord for the good work that we have witnessed. It is really at the core of evangelization. So thank you very much, fathers, for the good work. Everything you did, you did it for the sake of the evangelization, the gospel of, God, of Christ among the people of God. So as Santini Sana, keep it up. Take care of the people of God and they will continue taking care of you. I want to appreciate also what Father Lawrence and Sister have mentioned. That is our mission. That is our mission. What he becomes is because we journeyed with him. And he's journeying with us, even when we did not know him, in praying for us in the circumstances in which we are, that we may be good Christians, we may be good people priests, and we may be people who will also accompany him or join him one day in heaven. So I was very impressed to see uh, many of you were either confirmed or baptized or at least something happened between you and the eminent, the eminent Cardinal Otunga when you raised your hands. As Father said, two are a full testimony according to the Bible. But as many as, as, many as you are, I want to say it, the legacy still lives on. The legacy still lives on. Perhaps one day I will just wake up and say, I want to see everybody who was in touch with his eminence, Maurice Cardinal Otunga, either by baptism or anything or anything that was sacramentally. When we call you, don't, don't be afraid, come. We want to hear to see your testimony. Even coming and just seeing you like that, we shall see the gift that he gave you. Baptism, confirmation, we shall see the gift in you. And we shall see the giver the giver of the gift with the cardinal in you. So we journey on in that being also saints like him. That's the best thing we can give him. And that is how we can fast track his path towards canonization to sainthood. Let us learn to journey on the path he's, he, he laid down as we go on. So I will hope one day Father and Father Kaiwa, Father Lawrence, one day we call them all. Those who are baptized, we see. Yes, we look at them and we smile and we say, go back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not much. He will have talked to himself. He will have talked to himself. He want to appreciate the good work that has been done by those ones who were here before. <clears throat> I want to thank in a particular way, Father. Uh, uh, Father Karingo Stephen, who was the former dean before fathers, the two here have come. They, take, they took over from him. One this side, another this side. So they took over from him. I want to thank him and you for having worked together in a manner that the Church of Christ here has grown to this extent. So thank you very much, and let us pray for him, because at the moment he is still working in a parish and also taking or staying together and giving company um, to his eminence, uh, John Cardinal Yue. So let us pray for him that he may have good health in body and in mind and in his work may continue serving well. When, in case he is sick and is on the recovery, may he recover quickly. So, yeah, so pray for him today that he recovers quickly.
That's all. Yeah, and all other priests who are sick, please, we pray for them. Take courage. Say a prayer for any priest you know, pray for him. But also Father Karimo, and also pray for Father David in Joguna. Those two. Many Yeah. I want to also encourage you to grow in that Christian strength and faith of conviction and hope that our prayers will always bring us to a good destination. The first thing we can do is us as Christians to pray for our own circumstances in the families and as I mentioned also in the church and even in the country. We all know the situation in the country financially, economically, as even one girl has said here, is not the best. And it augurs in line, maybe worse still, it augurs in line, not in its best way towards the whole world like that. But we know we have been so much affected. The church is very much aware about that. It's cognizant of the challenges and the difficulties you are going through. What we want to encourage also for us to learn lessons in all that happens, so that even as we were, because we had already started in that year, 2019, before the COVID-19, a campaign was very tough and very hot against corruption. Very tough and very hot against co corruption. Corruption that not expressed places so on the outside, but even internally, that goes even in the families and such. And we shall revive it as was already, but it was never died. But because of the issues that came in, it went astray. But it's still full much alive. We ask members, those ones who use mobile phones to put on that song of, you know it? It's not a song, as a, what do you call it? Skiza, Skiza tune, yeah. Yeah, corruption, corruption. It talks. It talks. Yeah, it talks. And it generates from not just at our age, maybe it might, it might, it might be to now because of looking at for a lot of hardware, many of us have might have become hard goes. <laughs> yeah. But with the children, they will learn. I'm sure God will touch his hand to K in the lives of Kenyans. These catastrophes that are happening are for us to change. And for us to change from hardcore to to us to soft core. <laughs> <laughs> if it's there, <laughs> yeah. The, in the Bible, the school, they always say the ara moyo wanini moyo wa wamawe to moyo wanini wanyama. So the uh, prosperity purposes are there, and we are working on it. And we want all of you to uh, collaborate with you. That's why we talk about Christian communities. This is one of the agenda that you should learn and help the country to grow right from the word there. Because we know the caliber of people who enter politics, who end our businesses, the caliber of people who went into our public services, we know them. We know them. And who develop our tax compliant culture still remain very critical. Still remains very critical. Very critical. We have not. We are not there yet. We are still very far. To ensure our economic growth and to ensure also our generations in the future to be, to live in a presentable life, we have to begin now. First, to look at who elect the people we elect in taking into the politics, the people we support in in business, the people. We support in the services that are so critical to us, even, even tax compliances. It is the work of the church, and all of us are a church. And we shall not stop there. Because I know at present, just yes, like our young, young girl mentioned, everywhere now, the moral climate, the moral climate in our country now, the moral climate is pay up. Don't wait. Don't wait to do, be, be what? Pay up. Don't wait to be found. Sneguelli. 
Yeah, pay up, don't wait to be found. You are that's mean this direct to us force and everything. But if it's it's not conducive, we want to encourage that this the get the church is aware, we, 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 the people are aware, this is the way we should not go. So the church doesn't condone that. But the church condones the reality that even as human persons, even as citizens, being a good citizen is demands uh, citizenship demands payment of the taxes, but not overpaying and not paying the taxes that will be, will, be abu- will be abused and misused and not also being handed so far as to pay. Being aware of that, we as the church are quite alert and are much, very much aware of the issues that follows. We are going to grow together, together with everybody not only Catholic Christians, the Catholic Church stands for ethical growth, stands for moral growth, stands for human dignity in all aspects of life. So let us pray together that all this will work hand in hand with the spirit of your prayer. And thank you very much for having supported the Church in Family Days. I want to appreciate, because I'm aware that everybody, every parish in Central Dinari completed its allocation to Chipigi and Makofi. <laughs> I want to appreciate that even in our uh, parishes, uh, tax, uh, what do you call it, tax uh, things and how well, we follow them, payment of NHF and so forth are well handled so much so that we are not being corrupt also in that manner. Equally, yeah, it is our role, it's our duty to do that, even in your companies, because you have talked about business. So, Sawa, I talked about business. So, take care of the one who, whom, with, you, with whom you are working in business, if you are the one responsible for him. So, Sawa, yeah, and that begins with the family. So, it begins with the family. So, thank you, Sana. Uh, so take care of the young dinari. Take care of the young dinari. Take care of the young dinari. Take care of the mother church. Take care of the child that you are born. So, so, let it grow. Let it grow. Na na mifano ya kikanisa. So, so, na mifano na mifano ya kikanisa is what we say the faith of our fathers. The faith of Abraham, Isaac, Moses, the faith of Jesus Christ, the faith of our saints, St. Philip of Neri, Archangel Raphael, Catherine of Siena, St. Francis, St. Peter, the Holy Family. Where which one? The other one? The Catherine of Alexandria. And then? Eh? Queen of Peace. And St. Joseph the Walker. Is it? No. Okay, so Joseph, the work, all of you. Work together, remembering all saints, all those whom we are celebrating. One time or another, they were, for, they were fighting corruption. That's why we talk of social teaching, the social gospel of the church. So it starts with us. Let us start with the prayer, and God will provide. Asante sana, mungu wa bariki mule vizuri, venye mwenye kite wetu ambia. Sasa, hata kapa ni kidogo, Kula na mwenzako, si vio? Yeah, yeah unazemaje ni kikui kula mwenzako? Kikui unazemaje kula na mwenzako? Eh? Yeah. Eh, uya? Uriyanire? Yeah, uriyanire. Kuriyanira? Yeah. Na, nyugia liuga nyugina unazemaje? Kikamba? Yeah, na nyo nyugine? Chamu kiwadu, na nyo nyugine? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so everything is there if you eat with one another. So, so. It's as the Manjikita is very important that we share together, even the little we have, to give us joy so that we may prosper and may prepare in what we give, what we eat, and what we give, and God will give us in abundance. So that the right hand that receives can also be can also give out and receive from the left hand. And God will provide. 
Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Hawa ninawatakia kila laheri mpaka mwaka ujao. Hapana pa majaribu yake Mungu mwenyezi. Asante. Niombe chakula. Tutaenda kula? Okay. Taambia fadha unja awambie chakula labda nitabariki. Sasa sijakiona. I will also pray in faith so we can be upstanding. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord. To receive from your goodness through Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we go. Oh, yeah. We go to eat now. <laughs> the choir you can lead us in the song. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> 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 okay, the eating station, just a minute for the eating station, please the choir, the one that is just here near you, that is where the choir will serve from, then the one at the far end there, the PMC and the little ones, and then the three in the middle, the general congregation and our clergy there, choir sustainable. Capuchin TV. And forward ever, backward never. So move ahead. Ahead, ahead. Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV. Kitambulisho katoliki. Prayer for the missions. Lord Father of our human family. You created all people equal in dignity, poor for mwaka wa 2023 kwenye kazi zetu za injilishaji tumekita kambi kwenye uwanja wa Msongari kwenye jimbo kuu la Nairobi kwa minaji la sherehe ya dekania ya kati pamoja na dekania ya kabete na kumbuka wamesema kwamba ni mara ya kwanza dekania hii kuweza kusherekea siku ya kifamilia pamoja na ni dekania ambayo inao parokia saba dekania ya kati na dekania kabete vile vile ina parokia saba sherehe ya siku ya leo iliongozwa na askofu mkuu wa jimbo kuu la Nairobi ambaye 
ni askofu mkuu Filipe Nyolo uh, na kumbuka mada kuu ya mwaka huu kwenye dekani hii inahusisha zaidi kuhusu jumuiya ndogo ndogo ama kupenda small christian community ambapo pia kulingana nao ni miaka hamsini wanaweza kusherekea tangu jumuiya ndogo ndogo ilivyoanzishwa kwenye kanisa katoliki mwaka moja kenda mia sabini na tatu na kwa sasa sinabudila kwa rejecha moja kwa moja kwenye studio yetu enola karen ili tuweze kuendelea na kipindi cha kawaida jina langu ni arbe bonaya happy family day to the central dinari and kabeche dinari kapuchin tv and forward ever backward never so move ahead 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 endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki La misión está en el corazón de la iglesia. Y más aún, cuando una iglesia está en sínodo, solamente esa dinámica sinodal la lleva adelante la vocación misionera, es decir, la respuesta al mandato de Jesús de anunciar el Evangelio. Quisiera recordar que aquí no se acaba nada, sino que aquí continúa un camino eclesial. Se trata de un camino que recorremos como los discípulos de Maús, escuchando al Señor que siempre sale a nuestro encuentro. Es el Señor de la sorpresa. Por medio de la oración y el discernimiento, el Espíritu Santo nos ayuda a realizar el apostolado del oído, o sea, escuchar con los oídos de Dios para poder hablar con la palabra de Dios. Y así nos acercamos al corazón de Cristo, del que brota nuestra misión y la voz que atrae hacia Él. Una voz que nos descubre el centro de la misión, que es llegar a todos, buscar a todos, acoger a todos y buscar a todos sin excluir a nadie. Oremos por la Iglesia para que adopte la escucha y el diálogo como estilo de vida a todos los niveles, dejándose guiar por la fuerza del Espíritu Santo hacia las periferias del mundo. Pia nuashukuru tena kwa support unapatia Caption TV. Ile support tunapatia Caption TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote. Mimi siwezi hata wewe. Kwa sababu una ujuzi. Lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi. Tuendelee kufanya kazi Table number 510678 Account name Caps TV Prayer for the missions Lord Father of our human family You created all people equal in dignity, pour forth into our hearts a fraternal spirit, and inspire in us a dream of renewed encounter, dialogue, justice, and peace. Move us to create a healthier society and a more dignified world, a world without hunger, intolerance, poverty, violence, pandemics, and war. May our hearts be open to all the peoples and nations of the earth. 
May we recognize the truth and beauty that you have sown in each one of us and thus forge bonds of unity, common understanding and shared dreams. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed Pauline Marie Jericot, pray for us. Dear Christians uh, and all people of goodwill, um, we are sending you this message once more from the Vatican uh, in this uh, second week of work in the Synod of Synodality, where, as I told you, we have had uh, over uh, 380 delegates, uh, more than 200 bishops, uh, priests, religious, and uh, lady who also joined in and it's been a wonderful moment of sharing in which around the Holy Father we are able to reflect on several topics working together in this spirit of synodality of working together of course Rome and the Vatican is a heart of Christianity in a special way this is where St. Peter is buried this is where the martyrdom of St. Peter and St. Paul occurred as a first witness so it's a way of coming back to rediscover and strengthen our faith in God, in our creed, in what we profess. We want to thank you very much for the prayers. We've been asking constantly for prayers and we experience that strength of prayers that uh, you accompany us uh, in our work and we pray uh, that uh, the Holy Spirit will guide us in the remaining days and the remaining weeks. In this time of uh, reflection, several things have come and I think it's worth also to give thanks to God that uh, you see that we have different experiences in the various areas and in various parts of the world. And we as a church in Africa have also a lot to offer even to the universal church. Uh, amongst the things that obviously have come are the joy of our church, the understanding uh, of our community and the strength of communion that we in Africa experience more this community than in uh, more many parts of the world. It has been very good to experience that, uh, uh, call it cross-pollination, that sharing of experiences that we are uh, given one church in one place to another. We've also spoken uh, a lot about the core responsibility the, that every baptized Christian is responsible for the mission of the church, for the work of the church. If the church does not belong to the priests and the bishops and the religious, but to every baptized person. So the emphasis on the baptismal mandate, the baptismal uh, sense of that you are baptized, you have a mission, you are mandated to be part of the church and to wherever you are to show the face of Christ. This is something we have gone over and over again, trying to see why is it that um, more often now we see the uh, lay people thinking that they are not representing the church and they are not representing church Christ enough in their normal life. So how can we awaken that reality? So that's one of the things which we are uh, discussing. At the same time, of course, to make uh, we, the leaders of the church, bishops, priests, uh, and those who have been given responsibility, how can we uh, encourage? How can we assist? How can we give more space also to the lay people, to others who have got gifts in the church so that really it can help build our dioceses, our parishes, and even the evangelization work. So those are part of the things that we are uh, discussing and I'm sure God will guide us into worthy conclusions. From here we also said